Hi, my name is Christina. I am a research scientist and dietitian at Omega Quant, and I'm here to go through your results from your ratios report. First, your omega-6, omega-3 ratio is the total amount of omega-6s, which are seven fatty acids, and your total amount of omega-3 fatty acids, which total four, in your dried blood spot. So this is a marker from your whole blood, not just the red blood cell membrane. So the total amount of omega-6s and total amount of omega-3s um, are divided by each other and you'll get a ratio. For the total omega-6, omega-3 ratio, we recommend being um, in a range of three to five to one. So three or five is for the omega-6 side and one is the omega-3 side. And your result will be displayed both in the little blue circles and also you can see where you are on the spectrum here um, and if you're in a desirable zone, desirable zone where it's green versus an undesirable zone where it's red. The other ratio on your report is the AA-EPA ratio which stands for the arachidonic to icosapentaenoic acid ratio. Arachidonic acid is an omega-6 and EPA is an omega-3 fatty acid and these are very important fatty acids in metabolism because eicosanoids and prostaglandins can be made from both of these fatty acids. And those are molecules that are very potent in the body in causing changes. And um, so having different levels of those two fatty acids could really affect a lot of processes that affect inflammation and our overall health. It's important to consider with ratios that now you have two different values that could be changing and causing your ratio to be um, in a certain range, um, high or low. And it's confusing and we aren't completely clear on how to optimize each ratio as, as we are clear about how to optimize the omega-3 index. And so for most people, we recommend that they optimize the omega-3 side of their equation which inevitably means also optimizing their omega-3 index and getting into the eight to 12 range, and then looking at their ratios after they've optimized that side of the ratio. It's much easier to increase your omega-3 side versus decreasing the omega-6 side. And that's for a variety of reasons, but one of them is that the body just has more omega-6s in red blood cell membranes and in whole blood than it does omega-3s. And some of that we can change with our diet and some of that we cannot. And so we can see much more dramatic change in the omega-3 side and see a lot of the benefits that you want um, if you just focus on that side of the equation. Typically, we think of the omega-3s as being the good side of the equation and the omega-6 as being the bad side of the equation. However, we have seen research that shows that higher levels of linoleic acid, for example, which is an omega-6 fatty acid, actually um, predict having better long-term outcomes in health, such as heart disease and, and diabetes. And so, to us, it doesn't make sense to recommend lowering omega-6s for the purposes of um, optimizing your ratio. We think that it makes more sense to focus on the omega-3 side, which will automatically change your ratio, and um, we don't have enough information yet on the omega-6 side, we feel, to dramatically change your omega-6 intake and your omega-6 blood levels. 